Mr. Bobby. Bobby. Okay, Bobby. Hey, booby. Booby, 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 booby. Definitely flowing today. Hear that pop? Tell all the years and years of discipline is pain off. It really <coughs> is sharp. I'm fine tuning. I can't wait to get 50. I'm serious. I'm serious. If I can keep up doing what I'm doing right now and learning what I'm learning, maybe 45. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just, I, I think I'm, I feel like I'm going to peak about 45. I'm going to start, I'm going to reach a level. Yeah. There's a lot of things I still don't know. Maybe I do know, I just don't know. Uh, oh, I don't really? have any volume control on this thing. Okay. Yeah, Bobby? Yeah. Hi, Phil. I hear you. Are we rolling? Hello. Are we rolling? Okay. Yes, Philip, we are rolling, and I'm speaking with you from uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. So welcome right. to the Lone Star State. Uh, I yeah, up a little bit. Bring the up, please. Hello, oh, Bobby? Yeah, can you hear? Uh, I was just having a little, a little problem hearing you. Okay, um, how is okay, it doing now? It's doing okay? Yeah, I got you. Oh, right, yeah. okay. Listen, I'm real curious because uh, I've been kind of eyeing this project that you're working with and that uh, we'll be seeing very soon. And it's had three different titles. Now, what's the story here? Uh, well, they went through, a, they were um, trying to get away from a legal battle um, because of Janice and Song Society's child. And they had to find a, an appropriate name. And a fight for Jenny came up and won. Wasn't one of the titles Colors? Yeah, uh, that was the second title. It was Colors. The yeah. first one was Society's Child, Colors, and now A Fight for Jenny, which is going to be the, the running title on, on uh, the 6th. Okay. Is there anything particularly controversial as far as the way you're handling the story? Because it was a very controversial case. But um, yeah. uh, uh, how much are you dealing with the controversy? Uh, well, just this immediate moment, I'm having some wonderful conversations with people throughout the country who are asking that same question. And I'm being enlightened each day. Uh, I mean, each, each conversation, I'm saying, that's an interesting uh, comment. Uh, you know, I'm learning. But do you consider it controversial? Yeah, I do. That's why we're talking about it. I want people to tune in and see the show. Well, what do you want them to get out of it, Philip? Um... God, a multiplicity of things. I, I think, first of all, to enjoy the art and the relationship. Uh, to me, love is the bridge that takes us all across. These two people, one, a black man and a white woman, love each other. The little child, the black man loves a little child as his own. The father has a problem and uh, he wants custody of the child. That's uh, the reality of what took place in this situation. What I hope to bridge with the uh, artistic endeavor is that we bring the consciousness of people together to, rep to uh, experience universal love on a higher dimension. Like we're satelliting 23,000 feet, miles, 23,000 miles up in the air right now to get to Dallas. And uh, our technology has advanced tremendously with computers, et cetera, et cetera. But yet human nature, still is limited. I mean, they're in the Stone Ages. I, I hope that our technology will continue to grow and our human nature will grow along with the technology. Philip, do you think that people will like this character you're playing as much as the character you play in Miami Vice? Uh, I went to a screening last week and the response was wonderful. Uh, they were pleasantly pleased and delighted at the warmth and um, the way the character just grew on on stage, I think I think the nation's going to like it, and um, even if they don't, 
I like that too, you know. Of course, uh, the pr your premiere episode uh, last Friday, uh, you got beat in the ratings by Dallas, which uh, I don't suppose surprised you too much. Did it really? Uh, did we get beat? You got beat, honey. I'm, I'm sorry to tell oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, so are you gearing up now in any different ways to try to counteract that competition from Dallas? Wait a minute, we're running out of time, they say. Oh, come are we on, doing you got, something to come back what? You gotta give me one quick answer now. What are you doing okay. to, to what are you doing to compete against Dallas? To compete against Dallas? We're not competing against Dallas. We're just doing exactly what you're what Dallas is doing, bringing superb entertainment to the nation. And let me tell you something, more VCRs have been bought because people love both shows. See you later. <laughs> All right, Philip. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. She wants to do some cutaways. Okay, where do you want me to be? Um, yeah. Oops. You're wired for sound. Yes, I'm wired on both <laughs> sides here. I don't know which way to move. Here, I'm going to plug you here if that will help okay. you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then NBC wonders why we don't want to do these damn yeah, interviews. Because, you know, they just... Can you use anything out of that? Oh, I can use something, but uh, I, I'm just going to uh, 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 run the Dallas thing just the way and, and let people see how he avoided the question, uh -huh. how he didn't want to answer the question. Mm, boy. I mean, you know, people are going to play those games. I can play those games, too. Now, he had to know that people were going to ask him about Miami Vice. Oh, got yeah. beat by yeah. Dallas, you know. So what are you going to do? Okay. All right. Uh, Just say Okay. When. All right. You rolling? You rolling on this? You rolling? Check it. Okay. Getting a level. That's weird. How did you get my ditty off, Richard? My little headroom box is gone. Okay, Bob. Okay, Bob. Okay. Now, uh, should I look right into the camera? Maybe. Up, just up a little. Okay. That's, that's the way it appears. About like that? Okay. We're rolling? Philip, why has this movie had three different titles? What about colors? It was called that at one time. Why has this movie gone through three different titles? What is controversial about this? What do you want people to get from this? What do you pe What do you want people to get from this story? Miami Vice got beat by Dallas last week in the ratings. I hate to tell you, but you did get beat. 
What are you going to do now to compete against Dallas? Philip, do you think people are going to like you playing this kind of character? <laughs> okay, that up to do it. Energy is definitely flowing today. Yes. Hear that, Pop? Tell you all the years and years of discipline is paying off. It really is sharp. I'm fine tuning. I can't wait to get 50. I'm serious. I'm serious. If I can keep up doing what I'm doing right now and learning what I'm learning, maybe 45. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just, I, I think I'm, I, I feel like I'm going to peak about 45. I'm going to start, I'm going to reach a level, say, yeah. Because a lot of things I still don't know. Maybe I do know, I just don't know, I know. Oh, are we on? Okay. Yeah, Bobby? I hear you. Hello. Are we rolling? All right. Yeah, up a little bit. Bring the RP up, please. Hello, oh, Bobby. Oh, I was just having a little, a little problem hearing you. Uh, okay, that's better. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Uh, well, they went through a, they were um, trying to get away from a legal battle um, because of Janice and Song Society's child, and they had to find a, an appropriate name, and a fight for Jenny came up and won. Yeah, well, that was the second title. It was Colors. The first one was Society's Child, Colors, and now A Fight for Jenny, which is going to be the, the running title on, on uh, the 6th. Yeah. Uh, well, just this immediate moment, I'm having some wonderful conversations with people throughout the country who are asking that same question. And I'm being enlightened each day. Uh, I mean, each, each conversation, I'm saying, that's an interesting uh, comment. Uh, you know, I'm learning. Yeah, I do. Well, that's why we're talking about it. I want people to tune in and see the show. Um, God, a multiplicity of things. I, I think, first of all, to enjoy the art and the relationship. Uh, to me, love is the bridge that takes us all across. These two people, one, a black man and a white woman, love each other. The little child, the black man loves a little child as his own. The father has a problem and uh, he wants custody of the child. That's uh, the reality of what took place in this situation. 
what I hope to bridge with the artistic endeavor is that we bring the consciousness of people together to, rep to uh, experience universal love on a higher dimension. Like, we're satelliting 23,000 feet, miles, 23,000 miles up in the air right now to get to Dallas. And uh, our technology has advanced tremendously with computers, et cetera, et cetera. But yet, human nature still is limited. I mean, they're in the Stone Ages. I, I hope that our technology will continue to grow and our human nature will grow along with the technology. Uh, I went to a screening last week and the response was wonderful. Uh, they were pleasantly pleased and delighted at the warmth and um, the way the character just grew on, on stage. I think, I think the nation's going to like it. And um, even if they don't, I like that too, you know? Uh, did we get beat? Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute, we're running out of time, they say. Are we doing something to come back what? Okay. To compete against Dallas? We're not competing against Dallas. We're just doing exactly what, you're, what Dallas is doing, bringing superb entertainment to the nation. And let me tell you something, more VCRs have been bought because people love both shows. See you later. Okay, bye-bye.